Welcome to another video of real-time interview questions on Tosca series. So the question is how to identify an element using image. Okay. I'm going to take the same example. So let's say uh, we have this particular mock website and we have to identify username but with only image. Okay. So there are two different ways to do it. I'll show you both in this. Okay. So instead of scanning via a scanning application and then selecting image and all, uh, there is another way to do it so i'll right click on this and here i'll be able to see this option called image right create image based control i can click on this and there are two things while identifying you using images control images and then identifying images okay so this is asking on which particular element you want to take action okay so i'll click on plus and here it will give me the pop-up as well drag the cursor around the control area okay so i'll click on this uh, i'll select this and here it will ask me the option okay so if it is a button you can select button but if it is a text box then you can select text box other than these any other element is there you can select generic so since this is a text box i'll click on this okay now it will give me the pop-up that drag the cursor around the area used for identification so basically in image identification what happens is the property is identified using image help okay so this particular identification method should only be used when you are not able to find the property using properties or anchor then you move to this method because it is a rather unreliable method because it depends on the, the image accuracy resolution and all those settings but anyways we will select this so as uh, you can see in the arrows it is telling that it will identify username based on login image okay now you can select this particular section as well as the image this as well as the image whatever you want it does not matter that it should be a button or something like that okay now see the control is identified uh, there uh, there is a section here which is called as accuracy and all so it mentions what is the screen resolution of my system what is the width and height but it's usually recommended to reduce this to a lesser accuracy so that this does not turn into error okay i'll just leave as it is right now but you should ideally change it to 85 75 based on uh, what different kind of applications you are working on okay so i'll just try it uh, change this to image okay and i'll drag and drop this to my test cases now here uh, since the control is of username i'll just input something testing image okay and now i'll run this and see if it is working or not if I click on run in scratch book it is going to find property using the login image and it has correctly done that okay now this is the first way of doing that let's take a look at another way of doing this okay so I'll go to modules I'll scan this entire page scan application then I'll scan the entire page now our job here is to uh, scenario is that we have to identify username using image okay so anyways username is populated so i'll select this okay now this is uniquely identifiable using properties but this is just an example we are taking so i'll just remove this property so that we can try to identify it uniquely using image okay now in this identify by section i'll be able to see the option image so i'll select this option okay now here you see since I have already selected this control, this control image is already captured. Okay, so now I just need to mention identifying image. So if I click on this, uh, this time let's take uh, this particular element into picture that we want to identify using this particular image. Okay, and it will give us the option that would you like to consider this might result in a long duration. So I'll click on yes here. So that's why I was telling that this is not a recommended way. Now here you get the exact same options, what accuracy and all you want to set. Okay. So let's just change it to image, image two or something, and I'll click on save. And my module is saved, and we'll do the uh, exact same operation, but this time we are using another image. I'll go to test cases. I'll this. And in this particular test case, I'll mention IMG2. Okay. And we'll try to run this test case, see if it is working fine.
so this test case would have been uh, way quicker if it was properties or anchor so see image 2 is mentioned here now basic things to remember while scanning with images we will have two things in this control image and identifying image control image is the image of the item or the element on which you want to take an action on and now identifying image is any image with which you want to identify this so control image and identifying images are two things and then you have resolution and uh, accuracy and all it's usually recommended to use a lower accuracy than 95 uh, because it takes resolution and all those things into picture and image identification method should only be used when you are not able to identify it using properties or using anchor then you should use this otherwise this is not recommended and it takes longer time in execution as well so that pretty much sums up everything about uh, how to identify element using image uh, let me know in case you find my content useful and do like share and subscribe uh, ping in the comment section if you are interested in some particular question or in some particular area as well i'll try to cover that up thank you very much have a great day bye bye